along, we are following the latest developments in the indictment against Missouri Governor Eric Greitens. Greitens was indicted yesterday afternoon on an invasion of privacy charge. We brought you that news right here in your News at 4. Now KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney joins us here in the studio with more on the latest details. Caroline? Well, Caroline, the Missouri governor is out of jail, but this is far from over. Today, we met up with a local lawmaker to give us an inside look at what things are like at the Missouri State House. Lawmakers in Missouri are still grappling with the indictment handed down by a grand jury on Thursday, halting any forward progress for the 2018 legislative session. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, uh, it's it's shameful on the state of Missouri to have the sitting governor indicted with a felony. Jefferson City is tense as leaders try to figure out what happens now. On both sides of the aisle, there's a sense of... Um, just sadness that we're having to go through this. Representative Greg Razor says his constituents in Kansas City have something to say about the embattled governor. There's a lot of folks that are angry at the governor, uh, a lot of folks that, you know, wish the process could move faster. We wanted to hear from people too, and the reaction to the latest development in the political scandal is a mixed bag. I really haven't heard much about it yet. I think he should resign. No, you know, guilty. Let's prove him guilty, innocent until proven guilty. So what should happen next for Greitens? Calls for his resignation are coming from across the political spectrum. Is that something that you support? Uh, absolutely. I don't know if he can effectively uh, do the job of chief, chief executive while at the same time dealing with a felony indictment. Now, the governor was released on his own recognizance. No bail money was posted. Everything is very fluid at the moment. The word impeachment has been thrown around, but a special committee is being formed to see if that action is necessary. Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News. All right, thank you, Caroline. And in the midst of all of this, Governor Greitens, we know, has resigned from the National Republican Governors Association leadership post. That announcement came as Greitens told the group that he would not be attending the National Governors Association's annual winter meeting that was to be this weekend.